Coffee Talk is eyebrow hair loss and the use of Roaccutane. Um, and as you know, Roaccutane is a drug <clears throat> that's given to people in very severe acne vulgaris. So the usual causes of eyebrow hair loss and the clients that present themselves to us here in Broutique would be 70% of our, our clients are eyebrow hair loss due to chemotherapy. Um, and that's because of referrals from the oncologist. Um, hormone uh, brow hair loss, the likes of underactive thyroid uh, clients that are postnatal, um, they get eyebrow hair loss very temporarily, but they do. Uh, menopause, well then, you know, that's the aging process and that's not temporarily. The eyebrows continue to just get thinner and more sparse. Um, plain old over plucking, the, you know, we see that age group. Our client is 84, so um uh yeah so plain uh, old over blocking which was you know way back in the 70s was the really thin brow was very fashionable scarring which would be a scar through the eyebrow and that's not the fashionable slit that a lot of people are uh, talking about at the moment uh, burns scars as child as children um we work on those it's difficult to work on them but we do it um and then we have um alopecia uh, which would make up the other 30% of our clients. And of course, trichotillomania, and that's where um, some clients would have a compulsive urge to pull out their eyebrow hairs, and usually the front of their fringe, or maybe even their eyelashes. And um, so that is the main bulk of the causes as to why clients come to us here in Broutique, that's what our regular clients would be, um, we're, we're seeing more and more of eyebrow loss now in the younger uh, clients that have been on Roaccutane. Um, and those who've been on Roaccutane, you cannot come to us to have your eyebrows microbladed. Um, I say six months, but I actually would be happier that clients would wait 12 months when they're finished their Roaccutane. And if you really need to or want to come at six months, you need to release letter from your dermatologist to say that they're happy that we are going to use either a microblade or a machine a tattoo in order to give you an improved eyebrow quality and density and definition and um, so we'd look for a dermatologist release letter and to do that but you can safely come to us after 12 months once you've finished your Roaccutane. Um, and why would you lose your eyebrow hair during Roaccutane? And does a course of Roaccutane cause hair loss? Um, I'm talking about head hair loss here now. And one of the possible side effects of Accutane um, is thinning of the hair. Um, and this is unsurprising due to the structural similarities between Accutane and vitamin A, which is known to cause hair loss in high doses. So here's the science bit. So isotretinoin itself um, can cause both the hair shafts on the follicles to cause thinning over time. Um, and it's important to remember that no two people will react to the medication similarly. Um, and it means that some may see hair loss while others don't suffer any side effect. So the side effect of head hair thinning or loss in patches should be mild if it's taken correctly. And the treatment is usually tailored to the client, um, so you usually start out in a lower dosage, and your doctor or dermatologist will be able to work out the lowest effective dose. But there has been some research into whether it causes eyebrow hair loss, and now there's more research uh, certainly needs to be done in this area. But from what we're seeing here in Boutique, clients, young girls, um, not many boys who are coming to us here with eyebrow hair loss and feel that the quality of their eyebrow hair has deteriorated and that they're looking to have it redefined by an eyebrow tattoo. More research needs to be done in this area um, and there are some truth in the claims that Roaccutane causes eyebrow hair loss as well. Um, so the research that I have um, done has shown that the hormone suppression um, in, caused by taking this drug um, seems to affect the growth rate, certainly in some patients, only in some patients. Um, and study shows that the 
lower dosage of, of Roaccutane doesn't seem to have an effect, side effect as much, but the la higher doses certainly are more likely to cause um, head hair patches and the quality of the hair just to get thinner temporarily. So Roaccutane also dries out your, your hair and your skin as well. So, and this furthermore causes the hair to break uh, easy, easily. So you actually need to be very gentle with your hair when you're brushing it. Um, um, so you may be required to use a specific shampoo and conditioner and that's on your hair now. Um, and this may help with the hair loss by preventing it breaking. Uh, but it doesn't kill the hair follicles um, and they and growth can be slowed down to the thinning and the breakage of your hair. So can you prevent uh, Roaccutane hair loss? Um, so there's a few ways to prevent or reduce hair loss. Obviously, once you start your Roaccutane, you will find that the uh, head hair uh, quality will improve, um, but that's not possible for everybody. And uh, those of you who are on a course of Roaccutane for a length of time, usually it's about uh, a is it's between six months and a year um, and once you stop it then you'll actually start to see the quality improve but we have clients who've come to us like a year after they've stopped Roaccutane and the eyebrow hairs just haven't improved at all so what we do then in that instance is that we would do eyebrow microblading just to increase the density of your eyebrow so that you look more useful um, and it's not that it's stopping the aging process but you know it gives the illusion that your eyebrow hairs are were what they were before you started the raw in. and there was a 2014 st uh, study showed that raw uh, found that the treatment could cause a vitamin B deficiency and um, that has been proven so obviously your dermatologist will tell you about taking B vitamins and improving your hair care routine so your regular shampoo off the shelf in the supermarket is just not going to cut the mustard so you will have to um, probably buy a prescription uh, shampoo or one specifically that you get inside in a hairdresser. Reducing stress I mean the usual one um, and eating a healthy diet the usual one again will help to prevent the hair loss and other side effects um, but you are advisable to do that anyway alongside with your Accutane, raw Accutane treatment. Um, to reduce hair loss either way and most of the time any hair loss is temporary and as soon as you cease it then everything returns to normal and um, your thin hair should start to thicken again with time um, and but there are some people who will notice a permanent change in their hair after taking isotretinoin and for those of you whose eyebrows don't recover after you've taken your Roaccutane make your appointment to get checked in with us and we will either do microblading to add more definition to your already good brow or we would do blade and shade to do a, a powder brow maybe from start to finish so that it's underneath the um, eyebrow hairs that you have and it'll give you that more youthful appearance and that you look like you always did before you ever started uh, Roaccutane. Right I hope that helps um, it's not that it's controversial. It's no reason not to take Accutane. It doesn't affect everybody. But um, our client base are coming to us for different reasons nowadays. And we're finding that there's, oh, really? Did Roaccutane do that to you? Or what? I never heard of that. So it actually caused me to do some more research. So for the younger clients, which I'm not really attracting here, to be honest, because I seem to attract my own age group or people from the hospital. Um, but the younger uh, girls, early 20s up to 30, early 30s, um, they're generally not my client base are here um, in, in Brautique. Um, they go someplace else to somebody younger than me, maybe. But we're starting to see that the causes of clients' eyebrow hair loss is some of them are quite surprising um, and it's outside the usual that clients come to us here. Anyway, there you go. I hope that helps.